Hey there, welcome back to Reddit XO, the best channel for Reddit cheating stories. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification for more stories like these. Now, let's get into the video. As I suspected, my WS has contacted her AP. She will now face the consequences. We've been together for for 30 years, dating since high school. My wife and I were going through a difficult time two years ago when she had an affair. D-Day was 12 months ago and the lockdown began. I read some of their communications, unbeknownst to my wife. The physical affair looked to be finished, but they remained in communication. He had stopped the physical affair seven months before D-Day, possibly because my WS had fallen in love with him and he was never going to leave his wife. She was outraged and heartbroken that he had deserted her, particularly because he had expressed his love for my wife. They stayed friends and messaged one other, and my wife told him she couldn't get him out of her thoughts. This time last year, I had never heard of Reddit, and I had no idea who to turn to for support. Counsel. I realized my techniques were a little shady, but my clever strategy was to try to uncover the whole truth about the affair and assess whether or not our marriage could be healed. It's not simple to do when you don't trust a word a cheater says. My wife couldn't see the AP, so I imagined she'd called him on her phone to inform him about their affair. For the following six months, while we were ostensibly attempting to heal things, I could read their communications without my wife's awareness. Here are some quick highlights. They both lied to one other and blamed one another for the affair. He said that their relationship had passed a boundary and that he regretted what they had done. My wife never expressed sorrow about the affair. He treasured their time together but equally wanted to forget it had occurred, an oxymoron. My wife informed him that she loathed him and that he had exploited her, which he denied, but she also added that she missed him, which was also inconsistent. She stated she was broken and couldn't live with the pain she'd caused me, so at times she did display some signs of remorse. She said many times that she would not be able to see him again and that she would never contact him again. A few days later, she would message him. During these six months, I saw an improvement in my physical condition, experienced IC, and had hysterical bonding with my partner. My wife came to me and said that she had made a huge mistake, that she wanted a future with me, that I meant everything to her, and that she had fallen head over heels in love with me once again. I inquired as to what she would do differently if she had the opportunity to go back in time and change things. Her reaction was to make sure that a good relationship would not devolve into an affair and to attempt to heal things between us before the affair got underway. She told me that she would be subjected to any ramifications, but she requested that I not notify our children of what she'd done. It is said that our children do not deserve to be hurt. The reality of the matter was that she didn't want others to think badly of her. However, according to the texts I've seen, my WS did not make any negative remarks about me to the AP, but she must have spoken something about our marriage to him earlier in the day. Among the things he said were things like, I hope you can mend what went wrong between you, I hope you can continue on, and other such statements. As for the negative side, my WS told him that I loved her and that she'd be okay, perhaps due to the fact that she did not believe I would leave her, but she never told the AP that she loved me. Eventually, she lost her cool with the AP and said, all I need is my children. She never said that she need my assistance, or that she cherished my company. 6. Months ago, I believed that reconciliation was out of the question. My wife eavesdropped on some of the conversation, which I'm not sure how much she heard, but it was definitely the wake-up call she needed. I hired an attorney to look into my options. Her demeanor changed at this point, and she finally broke off all connection with the Associated Press. I devised a set of rules and penalties for everyone. The most important was that we were not to communicate under any circumstances or I would divorce her. She agreed to all of my conditions. In light of the communications I had read between them, I was skeptical that she would not contact him again. However, she maintained NC for five months, and things seemed to be progressing in the right manner with us at the time. My wife learned a few weeks ago via a mutual acquaintance that the AP had an incurable condition. I expected her to contact him, and sure enough, she did. She has violated Mott. Confidence once again. To begin with, she sent him optimistic thoughts and hoped the therapy would be successful. But then she urged, get well soon and look forward to seeing you soon. And here's the ultimate blow to my wounded heart. W.S. Just one more thing. Do you have any regrets about meeting me? Associated Press. No. W.S. Good. Neither do I. That's it, folks. I've had it with her. 
there is nothing worth fighting for anymore. I realize that divorce will be painful for me and our children, as well as financially difficult. I'm aware she has mental health difficulties, but she refuses to get assistance, and I can't make her. I realize it's pointless to spend any more time attempting to comprehend her behavior, but I'm still perplexed as to how she could do this to me and our children. I'm going to contact a lawyer again, this time without her knowledge, and have her served. I'm hoping to acquire joint custody of our kids. Our financial assets will be shared 50-50 as a starting point, but I intend to attempt to gain more than that by or by crook. When my dead relative's home is sold, I will get an inheritance. I also have Bitcoin, which I bought a few years ago, and has grown in value to a great sum of money. I also have a sizable pension fund. Is it feasible to keep my STBXW from receiving the proceeds? Update. My unfaithful wife offered to stay with her parents for a short period of time in order to give me time to recoup and determine what to do next. This is ideal for me since I need a break from her. I can more effectively plan my escape route, and I can get valuable life experience both on my own and with our teenage children. Our children are unaware of their mother's adultery. Therefore, she or we will have to educate them as soon as possible or come up with a brilliant excuse for why their mother has temporarily relocated to a different state. Obviously, the best course of action is to tell our children the truth, something my wife has been feverishly attempting to avoid, and as a result, I am waiting for her to rethink the proposed trial separation before proceeding. If the trial separation goes through, I'm certain she'll want to go back home and start again from the beginning. What criteria should I put on the trial separation in order to make it successful? Things like, she still needs to keep her distance from her AP and so on. What about finally, but certainly not least, a recent story? The incident occurred this weekend when I happened to be riding my bike through a park where my wife and her AP had one of their trysts, which triggered me. I was aware that they had been immobile for about 90 minutes in a remote wooded area of the park because of the GPS tracking system. Despite the fact that she is completely unaware of what I know, I have never inquired as to the details of their sabotage. While I was well aware that they weren't having a picnic, and I wasn't anticipating the truth, I inquired as to what kind of she and her AP were having in the park and how long they had been there. Be prepared for the following remark. I'm not sure how long we were there since we had gone running. It was not exactly what you'd call a full-fledged encounter, but it was close. How would you describe the situation? I had inquired. I suppose I'm stumbling, she admits. I inquired about the situation more since it seemed a bit unusual. Was there any oral between you and him? Later on, she continued rambling on about her therapist, telling her that talking about the element of things is not a good idea at all. If the answer is yes, I explained it to them. Can you tell me where he went? He didn't, she said emphatically, because he didn't offer her. Conolingus, it seems that she didn't think he did either. To summarize, a significant amount of time is spent fumbling about with no apparent end result. A quick update on the Miss Sandal event is provided below. I decided to go a bit more into her background since her story sounded a little strange. In my previous statement, all I wanted was the truth, and how could I believe whatever she says if she is continuing to deceive me? According to her, they did not engage in oral relations, but rather tried total intercourse, during which he was unable in obtaining an erection. It's true that I now believe her, but why wouldn't she? Is it possible that she was attempting to spare him from embarrassment? Despite this, I still think she would have tried oral in order to get an erection from him. As a result, the story was changed to include more than an hour of attempting to convince him to hit hard and failing miserably. She claimed that he did not have any ED in the prior parks, implying that this area was not to his liking.